All right, let's break this down in a more real, down-to-earth way. Imagine this. You're pulling up to a family dinner, and the tension in the room is thick. That's exactly what's going on with the Combs family right now. If you're Justin, Christian, or Diddy himself, it's starting to look like we're about to see a full-blown huh family feud unfold. Diddy's laid down the law for Justin, basically telling him, if you don't step up and start handling your business, that Bentley you're cruising around in? Yeah, it's not getting paid for anymore. The buzz around town, Justin better figure out how to handle his bills because Daddy Diddy's not picking up the tab anymore. And trust me, the streets are a-talking. Now, let's rewind a bit. Since December 30th of last year, Justin hasn't been keeping up with his bills. Yeah, you heard that right, almost a whole year behind. He missed a payment on his $189,000 Bentley, with $3,300 payments stacking up every month. And when asked about it, Justin says, Oh, the bill went to the wrong address. Bro, it's C-124. We've got auto pay for a reason. Get with it. But hey, we get it. Sometimes life happens. Meanwhile, the Bentley dealer is knocking on his door, demanding the money or the car. And Justin? Still out here saying, We're working on it. It's been six months. Justin, that Bentley isn't just going to pay itself off. And while Justin's dealing with all of that, what's Christian doing? Oh, he's flexing with Hyo 2 Cybertrucks. Rolling around like life's perfect. He and his girl cruising in not one, but two brand new Tesla trucks. And let's be real, those trucks have been getting some wild press, cutting off fingers and all that. But hey, Christian's still out here living his best life, acting like everything's golden. And guess who's footing the bill? Yep. Daddy Diddy, Christian's riding high, while Justin's over here trying to keep the lights on. But here's the thing, why is Justin out here struggling while Christian's living it up? Well, there's talk about some real tension between the brothers, and Diddy might be playing favorites. Don't get it twisted, though. Diddy's got connections. He's tight with Elon Musk, even invested in X, formerly Twitter. So, those Cybertrucks? Probably came at a serious discount, if not for free. But let's not act like Christian's making all his moves on his own. Diddy's got his back, while Justin's trying to figure things out. And if you think this is just a Justin and Christian issue, oh no, the whole family's involved. Remember Quincy? He's the talented one. Actor, singer, the whole package. But once Quincy started making waves, Diddy stepped in and publicly beefed with directors like Lee Daniels. Yeah. That move stalled Quincy's momentum. And even though Diddy promised to make him a star, nothing's really came out of it. Quincy's been hustling on his own ever since. Honestly, growing up away from Diddy's drama might have been a blessing for him. But let's get back to Justin. Diddy always held him up as the firstborn, the heir to the throne. His mom, Misa, raised him well. He even got into Harvard. But Diddy stepped in and convinced Justin to turn down Harvard, move to LA, and take over Bad Boy. The catch? Justin never actually got control of anything, Diddy's still running the show, leaving Justin in the background, learning without ever leading. And when Diddy went off on Justin's football coach, that was the final blow, effectively ending Justin's sports career. It's like Diddy's holding on too tight, not letting his kids shine. So what's Justin's next move? That's the real question. Does he keep playing by Diddy's rules, stuck in the shadows, or does he finally stand up and make his own path? We've seen this story before, the rich kid dilemma. Do you stay where it's comfortable under your dad's control or break free and take the risk? Justin's been walking that line for a while now and it's getting harder to ignore. Rumor has it, Justin's been doing some soul searching. It's not just about money anymore. It's about pride, legacy, and honestly, survival. Diddy's drawn a line in the sand. If you're not with him, you're against him. And let's be real, being against Diddy? That's not an easy spot to be in. But Justin's been talking to his mom, Misa, and she's no stranger to the pressure Diddy puts on his kids. She's trying to pull him out of the storm before it's too late. Meanwhile, Diddy's watching Justin like a hawk. He's not about to let his firstborn slip away without a fight. 
The more Justin pushes back, the more Diddy tightens his grip. But Justin's starting to see the cracks in the empire. The cars, the parties, the fame. It all looks less shiny when you realize it comes with strings attached. And Christian? Still out here playing the perfect son. But how long can he keep up the act? At some point, Christian's got to realize he's just another piece in Diddy's puzzle. The trucks, the parties, the good life. It's all part of the brand. But behind closed doors, even Christian's got to feel that pressure. For now, he's sticking close to Diddy. But how long before he starts questioning things too? Quincy, on the other hand, managed to dodge some of the mess by staying out of Diddy's immediate orbit. But even he hasn't fully escaped Diddy's influence. It's like no matter where they go, Diddy's shadow is always looming, reminding them who's really pulling the strings. So here we are, y'all. Justin's at a crossroads, and the world is watching. The streets are buzzing, the tea is piping hot, and every move he makes feels like it could either make or break him. This isn't just some tabloid drama. This is a man trying to reclaim his life from the grip of a father who casts a long, controlling shadow. But here's the real question. What does freedom even look like for Justin? Sure, walking away from the family empire sounds empowering in theory, but stepping out on your own when the world's eyes have always been on you? That's a whole different game. And let's not forget, Diddy's not just any father. He's a powerhouse with influence that stretches far and wide. Cutting ties isn't as simple as packing a bag and leaving. On one hand, you've got Christian living the high life, riding the waves of daddy's riches like nothing's wrong. And on the other, Justin's in survival mode. Could we be witnessing the beginning of a sibling divide that goes deeper than flashy cars and unpaid bills? A full-on breakdown of what was once a united family front? Only time will tell. So here we are, y'all. Justin's at a crossroads, and the world is watching. The streets are buzzing, the tea is piping hot, and every move he makes feels like it could either make or break him. This isn't just some tabloid drama. This is a man trying to reclaim his life from the grip of a father who casts a long, controlling shadow. But here's the real question. What does freedom even look like for Justin? Sure, walking away from the family empire sounds empowering in theory, but stepping out on your own when the world's eyes have always been on you? That's a whole different game. And let's not forget, Diddy's not just any father, He's a powerhouse with influence that stretches far and wide. Cutting ties isn't as simple as packing a bag and leaving. On one hand, you've got Christian living the high life, riding the waves of daddy's riches like nothing's wrong. And on the other, Justin's in survival mode. Could we be witnessing the beginning of a sibling divide that goes deeper than flashy cars and unpaid bills? A full-on breakdown of what was once a united family front? Only time will tell. At the end of the day, Justin's decision is about more than money. It's about dignity, respect, and carving out a legacy that's truly his own. Can he find his way out of this tangled web of family expectations and billionaire drama? Or will Diddy's grip tighten once again? One thing's for sure. The Combs family saga is far from over, and the drama? Oh baby, it's just getting started. At the end of the day, Justin's decision is about more than money. It's about dignity, respect, and carving out a legacy that's truly his own. Can he find his way out of this tangled web of family expectations and billionaire drama? Or will Diddy's grip tighten once again? One thing's for sure. The Combs family saga is far from over, and the drama? Oh baby, it's just getting started. So, what's next for Justin? Does he finally cut ties and build something on his own? Or does he buckle under the pressure and fall back in line? It's not just about family loyalty anymore. It's about survival. Justin's got to make a choice, and soon. The clock's ticking. Will he take the leap and bet on himself? Or will he let Diddy keep calling the shots? <laughs>